when uh, the producing artistic director, Richard Dolce, asked me to do the show, it was just an honor to uh, get, get behind the wheel of such a, uh, a magnificent musical and uh, to be able to kind of reconceive it for the Ingman uh, was a challenge and it was a welcome challenge and I think that usually uh, when you have the right team behind you anything is possible and I had a great team, a great supporting uh, cast of uh, crew and actors and it all kind of made it the magic happen for me. Oh, no, a deer, a It's one of those roles that everybody knows, everyone's familiar with it. It's, I was actually just saying with a couple of the other actresses today that it's, um, you know, it's something that, uh, that a lot of people can identify with. You know, a lot of people have memories growing up of watching it with their family and, and things like that. And, and so it's fun. People have, the audience really identifies with the characters on stage, and particularly Maria. And um, she also gets some beautiful music. I mean, some of the best in musical theater, in my opinion. To sing it was quite a thrill. It's actually quite intimidating because, uh, you know, when I got the audition, I have my own nine-year-old daughter, and so we sat together and we watched the movie, and, and I was reminded about, you know, just how good Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer were. And I felt like, well, these are some big shoes to fill. The opportunity to get to play a role like this, this iconic, in this iconic musical, was a, was a thrill. When you are poor, it is toujours l'amour, for the more all the poor have leisure. I came from a crazy, wacky, musical sort of creative family. My mother was a, an actress. She was the original Wilma. Flintstone on the Flintstones, the voice, and my father was a symphonic musician who played with Arthur Fiedler in the Boston Pops and the Houston Symphony and the Boston Symphony. So I kind of was doomed or destined, depending on how you, you look at it, to be a do musical theater. Wrapped by your cap, little games are you. Vocally and as an actor, I feel like I, w I was born 40 years too late because I have the big legit voice and that's this, this kind of music is so glorious to sing and so exciting to be a part of. Um, it's thrilling because it just sits in that beautiful range and it's, it's the stuff I grew up with. What is it you cannot face? I can't face him again. Thank you, Sister Margareta. Actually, it's been really fun because all the other nuns, we have a wonderful time on and off stage. It's fun because I get to be the youngest one of the group. I'm not quite a nun yet, so I'm like, you know, still learning, but it's really great. You need someone older and wiser telling you what to do. I am 17, going on 18. I'll take care of you. I was originally, I was Friedrich when I was in 8th grade, so I, I love this show and I, I love the message that it carries and to be able to, to um, play Rolf and sing 16 going on 17, it's, it's been a blast every night. As a kid, I used to always love watching musicals, um, shows. My cousin was into it growing up. And just, I guess, seeing all the shows just really made me feel like, oh, I really want to go up and do that myself. It would be great. So long, farewell. I'm going to say adieu. Adieu, adieu to you and you and you. This is my favorite show. Uh, it's been an amazing experience, and when I'm on stage, I feel so confident, and it's just really fun. All of the kids got really close, and we have a lot of fun on stage together. My children. I want them to sing the frustrator when they met her.
my heart. 